Howdy friends, thanks for joining me today. What's one of the first things you must have in your emergency survival kit? That's right, fire. We're going to talk about fire today. Friends, we're going to talk about fire. And in our kit, remember, we have an alcohol stove and a lighter. I use a torch, a micro torch up at your local hobby center, big box store, that kind of thing. Uh, my torch has a piezo start. Uh, so it's good for one-handed operation. The other torch that I carry is a micro torch. You can also get these at your um, home center. Test piece today, this is a junky old clarinet that we keep around for parts. Most people always rely on their lighter. If your pad falls out or a pad gets loose, the old lighter trick. Now friends, this is where it, it becomes imperative of how you use the fire. Yes, this lighter will work. What's just as important is on either side the plastic that's around the key. So not just heating here, but heating here. We want to make sure that we keep the flame to the side like this as we heat and away from the plastic. Let's show that here. Heat the sides and away from the plastic. You'll notice that there's a lot of soot that will build up by using a lighter. Friends, another option is an alcohol burner. Remember, I picked this up for a dollar on my dollar store run. This is basically like a sterno fuel or a denatured alcohol in here. It does have a wick that you can see. Yeah, it's going. It's almost an invisible flame, but you can definitely feel it. This flame is a lot like the lighter flame. It's a very wide flame. If you are just to hold your clarinet over that, and you'll heat that key, but also look what you've done. You've ruined the plastic. So when you use this kind of a heat, you also want to be very careful and move it off to the side. A fire like an alcohol stove is best used when the keys are off of the instrument. Do your glue and put the pad in the key cup. When you're in a pinch, you have to use what you've got. And if you have this or you have a lighter, then you use it. Just make sure the proper way to use it to protect the instrument. You don't want to hurt it. Let's talk about a torch. A micro torch, such as this, has a very pinpointed flame. With that pinpointed flame, you can get right in and heat that key up. Also notice that it's going across the key cup never directly down. This is the little one that I love so much. You turn it on and it's a very small. Notice that it's not really burning me but it has enough heat to do the job there. Friends, I know that fire is something that we all have to use at some point or another. I hope this helps you understand the ways of using fire to not harm an instrument. Let me hear from you. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.